I imagine coming to Harvard would be the typical open books, suck up all that knowledge and that would be learning. But I think what I did not expect about Harvard was that the most special part to me reflecting on these last four years is community. My name is Amy Chalan. I'm a senior studying social studies with a secondary in art, film, and visual studies, and I live in Leverett House. I think my high school experience was unique. I went to a predominantly white high school, uh, so I didn't find myself a lot with other classmates that looked like me or shared sort of that immigrant background um, experience. So the transition was, I think, a little bit difficult in the sense of like, it was my first time leaving home. I'm really close with my family, but it was eased a lot by the sort of Latinx community that I found here. This was kind of the first place that I found other students who had shared that sort of like black sheep experience in high school. When I came to Visitas, which is our visiting program, for admitted students. I met the people who ran the club Latinas Unidas and they had a little mentorship program. So it was like a big sip, little sip program. They call it Hermana Hermanitas. So I think I always had sort of like big sisters, big brothers looking out for me who were part of the community. And then during orientation week, I met all of my best friends just going to these cultural events. And we ended up being each other's companions in that first semester, dealing with homesickness and also just adjusting to what it's like to be at college and, and have that sort of freedom. So I'm a concentrator in social studies, and social studies is one of the few programs where you actually have to write a senior thesis in order to graduate. There's an article written by this young woman from Otavalo who, who's a journalist in Ecuador, and she, I just loved the writing in that, so I, I, I want to try to take that writing seriously. It's like a personal reflection, but I want to put it in conversation. What is that writing in its reflection of what it means to be a Quechua woman also have to do with the tensions between modernity and indigeneity. My thesis has been super close to my heart because it has to do with indigenous youth in Ecuador and how we're sort of breaking these dichotomies or these stereotypes that have been associated with our communities for so long. How can we, at the same time, say, okay, yeah, you might be from Ecuador or Bolivia or Peru, but at the end, we, we are here for a bigger picture, hopefully. The classes have been really transformative in terms of being able to analyze the things I care about from different perspectives, meeting professors who are so keen to talk to you and excited that you're curious about what they're doing. When I'm not in classes or when I'm not working on my thesis, I love to skateboard. I also like art, so sometimes I'll find myself in Lover Art Room. I like to make magazines, so these are just like collages that I kind of work on. I'm a first generation college student, so a Harvard education for my family, I think, means empowerment. It means voice. It means being able to contribute to the people who are changing the world and to make sure that our voices are included in every change that's being made. One thing that's the most special to me in terms of what knowledge gave me in the Harvard process, it was knowledge gave me a way to find myself. Amy Elizabeth Chalan Vacasella, Social Studies.